are so many different types to choose from. The absence of snow on the ground is making it kind of tough as well. Anyhow, if you're overwhelmed but excited too, like me, don't worry. Over the course of this program, we'll explore the various types of evergreens available on the commercial market, and hopefully, by the end, have made up our minds. If not, uh, I've failed. Here's a pine. Here's a pine. Here's a pine. <clears throat> and here's a pine. This scotch pine belongs to my nana Josephine. An easy way to tell a pine is that the needles attach to the branches in bundles of two, three, four, or five. With minimal care, they can stay fresh for long periods of time and are relatively inexpensive as well. Here's a spruce. Here's a spruce. And here's a spruce. This white spruce, which was recently cut down by my neighbors, Mike, uh, Sue, uh, Patrick, and Nicole. Uh, Sue, how did you decide that this was the tree for you? Nice color, like the shape. It's got those uh, big, strong branches for hanging heavy ornaments. Have you got a lot of heavy ornaments? Yeah, we got these big 15-pound ornaments that uh, we actually uh, ordered special from the White House, and uh, they're being delivered tomorrow night by the Secret Service around. They're really from the White House? Yeah, uh, Obama uh, made them himself. That's amazing. Wow. A well-decorated spruce is all the glitz and glamour of Los Angeles, California. Here's a fur. Here's a fur. And here's a fur. There's a reason why fir trees have been the official White House tree every year since 1997. 